final goal is to fabricate four novel optical systems. Fifteen separate groups in eight German cities are working together on this goal. To get our systems to function properly, we must coordinate our activities very well, which is why we travel a lot. The Plan Optical Camera enables us to record three-dimensional pictures with a single objective. Here in the lab, you'll see the first demonstrator of a Plan Optical Camera. It consists of an objective lens, a micro-lens array, and an imager behind that. In the front, you'll see the actuation unit, with which we precisely adjust the position of the micro-lens array. Moving the micro-lens array, we can record different pictures of an object and then stitch them together with the help of a computer. It uses special algorithms to gather the three-dimensional information of the recorded object. In the joint project, we will integrate further components from our partners, miniaturized actuation frames from Fraunhofer IKTS in Dresden, variable apertures from the University of Applied Sciences in Kaiserslautern, and polarization filters from the University of Stuttgart. Did he just mention Dresden? That'll be you then. Yes, my boss and I. Together with the colleagues in Jena, we are working on a plan optical camera. It requires an actuation unit to lift microlens arrays. We fabricate extremely thin piezo ceramic actuators with a deflection of more than 100 micrometers. When a voltage is applied to it, the actuator bends, which can be clearly seen with a laser vibrometer. After the functionality test, we send the actuators to our colleague, Oliver Pabst, in Jena. That worked out well, didn't it? Congratulations, Duarte. Our project is not quite there yet. We're currently putting the optical components together and adding the actuators to our setup. Light always carries spectral information. If we record a light source with a standard camera, the spectral information is reduced to three categories. Blue, green, and red. Unfortunately, most of the spectral information gets lost in the process. We would like to record the full spectral information for every individual pixel of a picture. This will provide us with information that can be used for quality management and authentication. Nazia, Philip and Stefan in Freiburg also have a good grip on the progress of their system. Let's have a look at what their goals are. We have seen the micro iris and the tunable lens. What do you intend to do with them? Our intention is to imitate the optical properties of the human eye in a microsystem. We can show you a drawing. For the technical implementation of our system, we use soft materials. We use liquids for the micro iris and we use liquid crystal elastomers in order to deform a tunable lens. The whole system is completed by control electronics and a camera chip which represents the human retina. Which brings us back to the colleagues in Ilmenau. They're also trying to imitate the human eye. Stefan, could you tell us more about what you are doing these days? We're assembling all the different elements into one camera, which can automatically focus and adjust the lighting. It also scans the entire object to generate a highly resolved picture. All the different project partners have to work closely together to combine all the different components. And what could your final device be used for? You could, for instance, analyze the color of an object very accurately and have your own quality control device for food. These apples look yummy. Have they been scanned, do you think? Doesn't matter. 